Yeah, Haunter had a better move set. I didn't look at their stats. Haunter might be viable. We'll go ahead and give this give this a shot. So obviously I don't have any notes on this. Like I was just yellowing last time. I was just looking at the team, deciding what I want to throw out. All right, so what's cue ball got here? He's got some waters. Um, Psychic would be good. I think probably maybe, maybe starting with Slowbro. The only one we have to worry about is the Parasect. But he should be good against the others. I'm gonna bring in Jolteon for sure for the Amistar and Blastoise. And then something to really rein in the, the Beedrill, the Arcanine, and the Pinsir. Mm, Arcanine, we are sort of covered on. I don't want to bring in Eggy. Articuno can't really hurt the water types. Could be good for Parasect. Not necessarily Beedrill, though. I don't really have anything for that Parasect. I think I might need to do something about this team. I guess I guess we could bring in Eggy. He's the only one who can really kill the Parasect. I gotta write this down. Slowbro, Jolti, Eggy. Might, we might need to change this team up a bit. I could always use my old team, too. Alright. Well, he can't really hurt us. I don't really think we could hurt him, either. Well, we could switch to Jolti, and we could YOLO Thunder. They strike fighting poses. Oh, and a rough Pokemon change. Oh, it's gonna do big damage if he uses Surf. He's still using Surf. It's probably the only thing he's got. Yeah, that's too much damage, actually. Mm, better not to switch out. Maybe. If we hit this Thunder, we're good, though. I might have to hit two Thunders. Well, the Yellow Thunder's back. I remember the only reason we even got through this cup was because we just hit so many Thunders. <laughs> Like, that's the only reason we even got through. I could, I could open with Jolty, too. Mm, Eggy would be better, actually. Amistar is clearly more of a circle shape. That is true. I never noticed that. I mean, Amistar is the easy matchup here. The problem is I can't use Solar Beam. I need Mega Drain. Dude, like, if I use Solar Beam, he's just going to switch. I use Sleep Powder. Yeah, I don't know if I, I I don't know if I can bring Eggy. I, I don't know if Eggy's gonna be viable this tournament. Yeah, he, he's he doesn't have the move set. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna be viable. Now we're gonna watch why Solar Beam's not good. Yeah, but Mega Drain. Mega Drain heals you, and this guy's 4x weak to it. Arcanine, it's like, it's as if I didn't know this was going to happen. Let's switch back to slow, bro. Flamethrower, you hate to see it. What now? It didn't do much damage. How will this swap affect the outcome? Dude, like, if I, is he gonna switch out? I'm gonna psychic. I think he's gonna switch. Go no, he's staying in apparently. Oh, AI impossible to it predict. He's gonna switch out now. When you surf, he's gonna switch out. Dude. Oh, he's digging a hole. I could have killed him, man. I just had to surf. 
I, I think I'm gonna take Aggie off the team. I think I'd rather have Jinx. We'll see. Yeah, good information to know. I'm gonna write that down too. Write down. Arcanine. Dig Toxic. They're staring each other down. Who's fast, bro? You mean Slowpoke? I don't know, dude. Whatever. He can just dig me. They strike fighting poses. What's this? Wait, we, we, I mean, we do have really good defense. We actually wall this Arcanine pretty good. I guess that's why he uses Toxic. So Slowbro's fine for this one. The next Pokemon is being pressed. Oh, it's Pinsir. How will the type difference affect that? Combatants face each other. It's it like Slowbro, but it's faster than Electrode. Yeah, it's real. Like it. Okay. Man, you know what would be nice? A critical special drop psychic. Oh, it's down. Do those happen? Critical special drop psychics? Have you ever seen that before? We're down to the last Pokemon. It's one Pokemon against two now. I don't have any good moves. <laughs> Dude, I have to take him out. Aggie's not I don't think he's viable this tournament. He's only viable. If I can leave the type he's weak to for last, so they can't switch out, then he then he's viable. Man, if only I could get a critical special drop psychic. Slow sis is a good Pokemon. I mean, he's pretty, he's pretty, he's pretty tanky. I don't know. Like, I don't have to discount him. He's pretty tanky. He just, he goes from being like a multi-faceted Pokemon with a few good moves, like Stun Spore, Mega Drain, Leech Seed. You know, and like now he's just, now he's just nothing. Like now, now he's just Psychic only. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Let's look at my other team. Let's compare it to this one. Best psychic only poke. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's tanky. He's tanky for sure. I mean, we take him slow, bro. We have two good tanks. And the, the thing is, like, there's no downside to being Psychic-type, you know? Like, there's no downside. There's only upside. It only gives you defensive advantages. I don't know. We He might be okay. Like I said, we just have to wait until the type that's weak against him is the last one. So our old team was... It was the same thing. The only difference is I have a slow bro instead of a Jinx. That's the, oh, that's the only difference. I ended up making the same team looking through all those pokes. It sure tells you something. Kadabra might be good. Alakazam only has Psybeam. But, I don't know. I don't know, he's pretty weak. I don't know what I want here. Like, do I want Aggie or do I want Jinx? Because Aggie isn't going to be good against Bird Boy. Is Prime Cup the only one left? We have Master Ball yet of Poke Cup, and I'm probably not going to do it because we tried it, and it's like the stat difference is massive. It's much more than the Ultra Ball. So I'm trying to think. So, so if if we bring this team, we have to know what we're bringing against Bird Boy, and obviously we're going to bring Jolteon. We can bring Nido Queen, and I guess we can bring Articuno. So you know we can try it out. Uh, whatever, we'll try it again. How did I beat Psychic? Well, I got luck. So it took two tries. 
first I got bad luck. I tried to manip, and I almost had the manip, but I missed toxic twice in a row, which is a 2.25% chance of happening. Uh, I should have sand attacked first. I could have strategized better. And yeah, we had a little bit of luck, but our strategy was much better. So it turns out that Persian can two hit kill the Chansey. So like, <laughs> it's like that's all you have to do. You just have to bring a Persian. And then Aegis good against the other ones, and we got lucky because he brought a slow bro. So, but yeah, you just need to bring Persian basically. Persian kills Chansey. First, you use up your bad luck, then you get good luck. Yeah. Yeah, that was massive, but I still think we could have won without it. But yeah, that, that guaranteed it right there. Like, that guaranteed the victory. But I'm kind of sad because I want to use the Manip. Use the same team and couldn't get it through Trainer 4. It's a much better team, though. Okay, what are we doing here? Aegis is... I think I think Aegis viable, definitely for the Amistar, but we don't want to start. We want to end with him. So we can start with our slow bro because he's pretty tanky he resists all of them except the parasect and then we want to bring in our jolty jolty can oh we don't have toxic on jolty we're bring an articuno for the parasect might not be a bad idea and the problem is i kind of want i kind of want thunder uh, no one has thunder if i bring this team in i don't have no we can beat parasect with eggy that's right okay we're good we're doing slow bro jolty eggy Yeah, you gotta play for five days, use up all your bad luck. What does this guy have again? I don't remember what the pincer is using. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna sit here and psychic. See if we can out damage it. You using strength? That's actually not gonna hurt. It's not even stab. Yeah, we're gonna win this. So, pincer, strength. I'm just gonna start writing down their entire movesets. Well, we will win. It's not gonna be an easy win, though. And one of the problems with using these slow pokes is that I don't know I don't know if we can get continues. Hmm. Seismic toss is big damage though. He can probably he can probably beat us with that. Not with special drops though. Let's go. I finally got a new highlight too. I haven't had highlights for my past like five streams because we've just kept losing. I finally have something to highlight. I mean, I had like some cool manips I could have highlighted, but I decided not to because they ended in losses. That time where Aggie got really lucky and like killed two Pokemon and almost won and died at the end. What is this Arcanine know again? It knows Toxic. And it knows Dig, and it knows Flamethrower. If he uses Flamethrower, we might live. Is he going for Dig? I think we could actually live a Dig. He's going to do 75 damage. I don't know, maybe. Can we live 75 damage? I don't know what Arcanine's attack stat is. If he has a high attack stat, probably not. Yeah, so here's the problem, though. We're now walled by this Arcanine. Egg resists. He does, but that only gives us... Egg, Egg doesn't have any good moves. I have to I have to bring a Jolteon. Maybe he'll dig on Jolteon. I don't, no, he'll probably... I don't know, he might dig. Maybe he'll dig on Jolte. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna switch. Alright, we're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna YOLO right here. One hundred percent. I'll take your word at it. He didn't use toxic. Could also just thunderbolt. He does. He does have toxic. Yeah, he has dig toxic and flamethrower. I wrote it down. Oh, he got a critical. Of course, he does. What about- oh, Little Egg. I didn't think about it. Or Edge Egg Udor? Eggy's- Eggy's goth form? I don't know. I don't know, man. They strike fighting poses. 
Dude, we should look at Little Egg. We should see what Little Egg has. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. We're gonna take some damage here to Flamethrower. Of course he gets a critical. He's got Flamethrower now. This team, I don't think this team's doing it for me. How did we get to the finals last time? We had basically the same team. I mean, honestly, that's how. Like, we just hit a bunch of thunders. I don't think I can start slow, bro. I think I have to start Jolteon. Get good, yeah. I think I have to start Jolteon, because I have to save Slowbro for this Arcanine. Alright, Psychic. Save Slowbro for Arcanine. What did he use? Did he use Flamethrower? Why did he not use Flamethrower? What? We might be able to kill Amasar. We just have to solar beam it. We just have to survive two turns. Oh, it's Blastoise. No, he's Blastoise is gonna kill. Unless he misses Hydro Pump. Oh wait, hold up. We can survive this. Surprised they amazed I beat Pokeball Ultra Cup round two. Yeah, so basically last night when I was sleeping, I was thinking, well, I couldn't sleep actually, I was lying awake in bed, hence the stream title. And I'm sitting there thinking about what I can do to win, and I realized that the problem with our strategy uh, was that we give the AI too many opportunities for secondary effects. So Fire Blast, 30% Burn, Psychic, 30% Special Drop. And by stalling them, we, we essentially, we just, we allow them to get too many secondary effects on us. So I decided if I could just bring in a heavy hitter and kill the Chansey, Executor is strong enough to kill the others, and then I have a third poke. And it turns out that that was the case when we tried it, so. Much better strategy. Uh, I was thinking about Tauros, we went with Persian because he had Slash, and Persian was actually able to do it in two, so... All right, dude. This guy's got Psy. Psy the Scyther. Sam the Scyther. Sam the Scyther. Yeah, Persian was perfect. I was going to take Tauros, but I think Persian's better because because you can hit through Reflect and everything. Although, I don't think we actually ended up hitting through Reflect. I don't remember. Yeah, Jinx did put up Reflect, yeah. All right, Trainer 2. What do we got here? What do I want to send in? I don't have a Fire type. We have a... Scyther's flying, you know what that means. Persian's the only thing that two shots Chansey, other than Mega Kick Snorlax. I didn't think we were going to two-shot it. I think it's a range. Right on Dig might work, because if they switch to something else, you can do big damage to it. Except Slowbro. Let's see. I think I should start with Aggie. Aggie counters five of them. And the problem is I have to switch out if it's Cubone. I want to bring in Articuno for backup on the ground. And I think I want to bring in someone else who's good against Scyther. We could bring in Jolteon and Yellow some Thunder. Uh, yeah, I think Jolteon and Yellow some Thunder. All right, we got a poison type. What's he gonna do? I don't know what move he's gonna use. I wanna switch to Articuno. So let's, let's, again, we're just doing this for science. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and use Sleep Powder and we'll see what this, this Nito knows. Focus Energy. Okay, this is Focus Energy Trainer. Oh no. 
Rhydon can learn Bubble Beam in Gen 1. Wow. That makes him real good. Switch to Articuno. See if he swaps out. Oh, he has Rock Slide. Okay, we're dead. Ooh, we're alive. Let's go. Critical? I can switch Aggie into a Rock Slide. He'll resist it. Yeah, it's impossible to get them to sleep. Will he rock slide? Actually, probably not. Surf? Yeah, we'll resist Surf. You gotta have 400 IQ it. It's all about those 400 IQ plays. Oh, we got Psychic. Eggy might be okay against this guy. What's he gonna use? Mega Kick? Oh, okay. Eggy's the starter here. Start with Eggy. Eggy. Good against Nito. I actually switched him out. I shouldn't have switched him out. I shouldn't have switched him out. He's a, he's, he's perfect there. I forgot he had Psychic, actually. Because our old Aggie didn't have Psychic, so I don't even think about it. Whoa, how did he do so much damage? What move? Did he hit? Is that a Mega Kick? Is that how much damage it does? Where'd my health go? I looked down for one second and my health is gone. Mega kick critical? That's okay, that's okay. he's being dumb. He's using uh, focus energy. Special drop? I don't think that's going to matter. He's going to kill us. I can switch to Jolteon. I just don't know what move he's going to use. I think I'd rather die. I'd rather die than switch to Jolteon. His Earthquake... Doesn't even hurt him. If you didn't get that Mega Kick crit, we'd be fine. I'm gonna write down to use Aggie against Machamp too. Which Pokemon is coming out? Jolteon will have the speed. Oh, you know what? He focused energy. That's why he got that crit. Oh, no. We have thunder. Oh, no. This is no bueno. I forgot we don't have thunderbolt. Did anybody else forget we don't have thunderbolt? YOLO thunder. It's all you need, man. It's all you need. Dude, it's all you need. You, Marowak, that's pretty, that's pretty, pretty nasty. <laughs> yeah, the quick attack and pin missile won't KO. Well, the thing with pin missile is it won't hit. That's the problem with it. And if it does hit, it might not kill. You'd have to get like five of them. Well, he's going to use a ground move. I'll just switch to Articuno. He's, the problem is we don't have enough health to actually tank this. Dude, that's it. That's what the Prime Cup Ultra Ball round two is. It's it's. Oh, he's he's uh, he's getting pumped up. Okay. Dude, that means I can get a free agility off these trainers. I'll write that down. Oh, we have the speed. Let's go. Kill. Can I kill with a quick attack? Let's go. We won. I can't believe we won. This is crazy. I can't believe we're still in this. I don't even have any continues. Just ice beam everything? Yeah, maybe. Except the... Except the Machamp. Alright, what's this guy got? We got the Gambler. The Gambler. 
This is the guy who always kills me with horn drill. He's got cute egg. What are we doing here? Tough wig. Metronome time, yeah. Well, we're definitely gonna want Jolty. Poke slow. No hype? No hype! He's got no hype on his team. I think we should probably bring in Articuno. I think we could try and start with Articuno. If he's gonna metronome, I can maybe I can agility. And he, he won't be able to horn drill me, right? He won't be able to horn drill me. Alright, we use Jolteon. And then... His double team? Oh, okay. Different than the last one, then. Should I bring in Aggie? He can't really do any damage. Bro slow. And I think I'd rather bring in Aggie. Maybe even Amistar, honestly. I just need something for that that egg. I think I'd rather bring in Amistar. I mean we could we could just surf. Nito? Uh not really. Either Aggie or Amistar. He's not gonna use real moves, just side wave. Okay, if you promise to use the side wave, I'll bring Nito. Okay, side wave double team. And I brought Artie. I brought Chulti and Nito. Let's go ahead and start with a, an agility. Can I mist? Wait, what does mist do? It removes the stats, right? Does it remove the double team or prevent it? it prevent it from you only or the enemy? Because I could mist. This prevents my accuracy from being lowered. Only accuracy? Prevents all my stats, okay. Oh, it's Wiggly. It's a tough wig. This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. Agility's huge. What now? A decent hit. Yeah, maybe I should. He's sitting here using flash. Okay, we're gonna use it. I feel like he's gonna switch to Fire Blast. But apparently he just uses Psy Wave, so. If it's ever worth using Mist? Oh, he didn't cheat, okay. Yeah, the AI's weird. Let's go. Dude, Artie's just tearing it up right now. He's just tearing it up. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. All the RNG is gone, yeah. We just used it all. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. The battle We're going for freeze number two here. What'll it do? Oh, it's so bad. 
That's so bad. That's so bad. It's like the game is momentarily forgetting it's supposed to be cheating. Yeah. We're not even going to kill with Ice Beam. If we miss a couple Ice Beams, we're not going to kill him. Because we're not going to have enough PP. Well, okay, okay, we got a better range here. I think we got a bad range on that first one. Yeah, like, he might not be able to do anything. Right? Oh, he has Psy Wave, that's right. Dude, we're going to keep missing now. This is, this is awful. I hate this. No hype. It's because he's a boring, he's a boring Pokemon. He just sits there and uses double team. Let's go. Articuno's tearing it up, dude. We didn't even take a point of damage. Being up a Pokemon with no hip. I feel pretty good, actually. We got next. We got the rocket. The hardened criminal. We want to bring in. It's got poison, poison, rock, water, ice. The fable. Another water ice. Wrap clamp. Shouldn't a rock? How is a rocket allowed to enter this tournament? Maybe they let him out of prison for a day. Is it, does it? I don't remember. What does this guy do? Maybe I should just start with Articuno then. I just start with Articuno and Agility. And bring in Jolteon. You know, let's start with Jolteon, actually. We'll bring in Articuno if we have to switch to a Flying type. And who else do we have? Uh, I think Aggie could be good. Solar Beam. Slowbro. Slowbro could be good too. No, I think we'll bring Egg. Let's try Arty Jolty Egg. The crowd excitement is building. This is round four. We're missing Hype Act. Is the guy gonna use Sludge? I don't have anyone who's good against poison. Well, I mean, technically Eggy, but he's he's uh, he's weak to poison. Wait, is he? Yeah, Psychic doesn't resist. All right, well, this is for science, okay? We don't we don't need to win every fight. We're gonna go ahead and see what Thunder does. They strike fighting poses. Critical paralysis. All right, there you go. You just gotta get good. He's got Fire Blast, okay. He missed! Let's go! We hit Thunder! We critted Thunder and he missed. It's like my my luck is twisted right now, in a good way. Dude, Quick Attack's not gonna kill, man. Should I Pin Missile? I have 85% to hit with that. I think it'll kill if we hit. Dude, I think I'm actually gonna Pin Missile because I think it'll kill. It's more accurate than Thunder. I think as long as it hits, it'll kill. I think I think two of them will kill, actually. What now? Dude, let's go. It's so easy. Prime Cup's so easy. Oh, Alright, Clefable. What do you want to do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start with the sand attack so we can see what it has. Try attack freeze. I don't think does try attack have secondary effects in this game? I haven't seen any. It does have try attack. What a furious battle! Not in Gen 1. We're gonna switch to Articuno. We'll see what it has. Probably knows Fire Blast or something, but. We switch to Eggy too. He might be. Well, actually, if it has Fire Blast, it's not safe, so. 
Still pretty good damage. Will this Pokemon swap change I'm I, I'm gonna start with an Ice Beam because I don't know what's gonna do. It might use Flamethrower. Dude, Artie's killing it with the crits. Why don't you get crits like this in Pokeball Cup? Alright, it seems to just spam try attack. That's fine. Yeah, I'll be status statusing you every turn. The AI's got the craziest luck. Dude, what is this? You don't get crits like this in, in Poke Cup. This is insane. Renamed to Criticuno? Yes. Man, imagine if I crit like this in Poke Cup. Like, what is going on right now? I think Poke Cup's just rigged. Um, I want to use Eggy. Problem is, this guy is, uh, this guy's, this guy's Ice. So I want Jolty, but... So I think I might switch to Eggy. And then switch to Jolty? I don't know. Let's, let's go ahead and... I, I can't really hurt it right now, actually. I can't really hurt it right now. I don't know what move it's gonna use. I kind of, I kind of don't want anyone to die though. The trainer hasn't issued an order. Jolte, Jolteon doesn't have enough HP to switch into. I can't, I don't, I can't freeze it. Well, we'll switch to eggs and see what move he uses. Problem is Ice Beam. I will. We need to know what move he uses. It's okay. Oh, he knows Blizzard. Uh oh. That's probably that might. Is that gonna kill? Yeah, dude. I don't know if Jolteon would have survived that. Uh, I think I'm gonna let him kill me. I think we're gonna we're gonna give up on the on the continue here because I want to make sure I can get my thunders in. Sleep powder. I went for psychic. We can't kill him with Articudo. So it's YOLO Thunder for the win right here. What will the next Pokemon be? Maybe I shouldn't bring Eggy. I should bring someone else. Here's a Pokemon. The remaining Pokemon stock is two to one. YOLO Thunder, let's go. We just have to hit it critical. If we hit it in critical, we're bueno. There we go. It's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. This is the opposite of Poke Cup. You didn't even need that crit? Oh, wow. Who's up next? Dude, Bird Boy's coming up. I need more continues for him. We got the Lab Man. The Lab Man, he's not a scientist, he's a Lab Man. He just hangs out in the lab. Okay, what do we want to send in against this? We got Alakazam. All right, so I'll, ju I'll just go through the types. We got two normals, one pure psychic, one water psychic, one again, another normal, and then a grass psychic. So our Aegi can be good. Assuming Starmie doesn't know Ice Beam. What else do we have? Again, Slowbro can tank. We need something to kill that Snorlax, though. I think, like, I think we might need a Toxic it. I think we might need a Toxic it. You have Toxic on Needle Queen. Let's see. Maybe I could start with Articuno. And I can bring in Needle Queen for Snorlax. And then we need something else. So what's the best thing here we could use? 
Well, Starmie could be scary. I can't really surf it. Well, we have, you know, we have Toxic on Amistar, actually. So I don't think I'm going to bring Nito. I think I'll bring, I think I'll start with Amistar. Because he's bulky. And bring in Articuno. I mean, he's probably fine to switch into, too, but... You can get a Toxic on turn one. And bring in Articuno. And if we want to bring in for our third. Jolteon's got good special... I mean, we got better on. I think. I think. I think we should do Eggy for the third. Although he can, he can't really dish out damage is the problem. Uh, he, not against these types. He can resist, but he can't really do. Pin missile eggs times four. That's true. Uh, and you also yellow thunder, right? So. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get quite hot. Begin round five. Okay, what do we want to do here? What do we want to do here? <laughs> Dude, I, I don't want to fight an Alakazam. I want to slow it so I can Horn Drill. Dude, like, do I really Toxic an Alakazam? I don't see any other option. Because I don't want to switch. It's going to be a lot of damage. I don't have any Psychics to switch into. I think, I think we should just Toxic. The trainer hasn't issued I'd rather order. paralyze him. Are we starting with Reflect? Okay, if we hit this Toxic, that's good. Oh, Recover's fine, as long as it's bad poison. Okay, we'll go ahead and just Surf him now. Special drop crit. Wow, look at that damage. Alright, that's not good. We have to bring in a psychic type. Probably slow, bro. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to thunder. I'm gonna have to YOLO Thunder here. It's the only way we have a chance. I actually think Jolteon might die in one hit. I don't even think we'll kill with the thunder. The is being sand attack? Yeah, I'll sand attack, okay. Quick attack will one hit KO. Oh, it's Jolteon! This is a fight between two different types of Pokemon. Dude, I could yellow pin missile and just hit five. He's gonna be faster than us though. I'm gonna yellow pin missile. No, use reflect. No. That's okay. We're probably gonna die anyway. Yeah, I need to crit because use reflect. Wow, how do we tank that better than Amistar? I thought we had. I thought Amistar had a higher special. No, we didn't even crit. Did no damage. Wow. Should have yellowed thunder. That's my mistake. So you get when you don't yellow thunder. You get punished like that. I have to look at their special stats, because I thought Amistar had more special, but I don't know anymore. Alakazam skip chest day. Okay, all we have to do is Yellow Thunder the next one, and we're still in this. That's rough, though. Alakazam's so strong. Slowbro would be nice. Yeah, I think it's 700 HP. Yellow Thunder, critical, paralysis, into paralyzed. No! No, it's killing us with a bubble beam, too. I'm rubbing it in our face there. Dude, we gotta get the freeze now. It's our only chance. This is our only chance. We have to freeze it. I guess it depends on what it knows. 
<laughs> let's go. Let's go. <laughs> you just gotta get good. No! He's calling my bluff here. I use sky attack. Dude, no. We can't freeze this Snorlax, man. The Snorlax is gonna kill. That's so bad. Critical? It's not even good damage. Oh, he's using Bide. Let's go. He's using Bide. Oh my god. Let's use agility. So what, ch what chance he used Bubble Beam? I have to write this down. I thought- I don't think agility affects crit rate. I might need a sky attack, actually. Snorlax has bide. That's huge damage. It's, it's basically the same as sky attack. Oh, am I dumb? Sorry, I'm just not smart. I thought- I thought it ran out. I thought he bided it out. I'm not paying attention. I'm sitting here typing notes up on my phone. Dude, Articuno doesn't care though, you know? Articuno just kills everything. Dude, Articuno don't care. Articuno don't care if his traitor's dumb. Dude, let's, uh, let's do some fun sky attacks here for the swagger. You just gotta get good. That's all you gotta do. I say this all the time. Because it makes better clips here when I Ice Beam during Bide. It makes it more intense, you know? Criticuno, that's right. And Chansey deserves this after Ultra Ball Pokey Cup round two. Articuno's just teasing us right now. Yeah, he wants to get that critical, that's right. Riticuno. Lab man down. I gotta continue yet, too. What do we want to do here? I don't have a fire type, so... We're definitely going to want Eggy. In fact, we have to start with Eggy here, right? Like, there's no way I don't start with Eggy. Eggy's good against all of them except the Electabuzz, and even then he's not completely useless against. And then we definitely bring in Nito in case he, he brings out his Electabuzz. And who do we bring in last? Criticuno? Criticuno for those those grass types up there. Bring Criticuno, good against the ice types. I have you weak against the Electabuzz though. Bring in Jolteon. I don't want to bring in Slowbro. I think I think we better bring in Jolteon. Yeah, have Pin Missile too. Critic See, Criticuno's better, though, for the 
for the poison types, the grass types. But I think I, I think I need coverage on the Electabuzz. I mean, I have Nito, right? I have Nito, so I don't necessarily. If I could just kill the Electabuzz with Nito, I think we're good. I think I think I'd rather bring Criticuno. All right, let me use the bathroom quick. Yeah, yeah, we don't have uh, Mega Drain Eggs. What's the matter, trainer? Go ahead and Psychic. Even if he switches to Electabuzz, we'll do big damage. Here's the first move. The weak wow, weakest crit you've ever seen. Big boy eggs. That's right, dude. Big boy eggs is killing it, man. I, I was remember I was gonna take him out of the team. He's killing it. Dude, slow bro. What? The remaining Pokemon count is three to two. This battle mm. is still up in the air. The problem with Solar Beam is I'm toxic. That's the problem. The problem with Solar Beam is that I'm toxic. They're staring each other down. And you can just switch. I think I want to get rid of the bad poison before I risk a solar beam. Problem is, Needle Queen, I'm faster. Problem is him switching out to another grass type. YOLO. Let's see what he does here. I, I have to get the bad poison off, but if I have to switch out after, it's fine. And, then we, and you know what? That means we can switch Articuno into someone who we can actually do more damage against, which is fine. Okay, he didn't switch out. I don't know what's going on. I mean, I know that the special dropped, but it's still going to do a lot of damage. It's going to be hard to kill this Pokemon. I have to switch to Articuno or we're dead. It might be dead either way. It might be dead either way. How much damage is this going to do? Hmm, I want an Ice Beam. Special drop, though. Hmm. I don't want a Sky Attack yet. I really don't. Let's see how much Ice Beam does. Maybe we'll crit. Got yeah, crit Kuno, right? It's nothing. Special drops are killer in this game. Dude, another special drop? We're gonna lose. I need a critical here to compete. So I might have to stomp this thing. <laughs> Let's go, Criticuno! Their 
there's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Criticuno doesn't stop. Oh, it's Electabuzz. Electabuzz? Hmm. The remaining Pokemon count is three to one. Switch to Nito. The battle has become one sight. Let's hope he doesn't throw a psychic out on us. That would be sad. I'm not gonna have the speed on anyone. So I have to just hope Nito can kill. Let's go, Thunder Punch. Just as we planned. Earthquake. Reflect. Okay, depends on what moves he has. Because if he doesn't have, like, Psychic or something, we I think we could still win. Yeah, one crit, he's dead. Strength? Hmm. We'll see how much damage is the strength gonna do. We have good defense. Remember, Needle Queen has good defense. Better than Needle King. I think about 20 points more in this cup. We're still gonna win. We're gonna continue on this one. Okay, I have to write this down. Trainer 6 is Egg, Nito, and Artie. That's nice. That's a continue. We got Trainer 7 coming up. That was a good team. Don't even need notes, yeah. Maybe. Oh no, it's Bird Boy. I forgot about him. How is he in the Prime Cup? Trainer 7 so easy. And then you have Bird Boy. My arch nemesis. Well, luckily he only has one legendary this time. But, I mean, I think we start Jolty here. And some Yolo, some Thunder. And we want someone for that Haunter. So, I like Eggy. Problem is he's... <laughs> Iggy's not going to be good here. I think Slowbro would be better. Uh, Slowbro would be good for Mole Trash too. What's the special on Amistar? 275? Jolteon is 265? Did he crit that Psychic when, when Alakazam hit us? Because it's so much more damage to Amistar than Jolteon. Like, so much more damage. So, I think we're going to start Jolte. I think we're going to bring in Slowbro. I mean, Nito's our other option. We have, we have Rock Slide. We have Rock Slide, but I definitely think Slowbro is a good option. Do we want to start with him? Mm, they could have T-Bolt. A Pidgeotto probably has T-Bolt. Mm, we have Rock Slide for Nidoqueen. We have Rock Slide for Nidoqueen. Yeah, the problem with Amistar is they might have T-Bolt. I don't want too many that are weak to T-Bolt. We'll bring in Nido. So we just T Slowbro and Nido. We get a Yellow some Thunder to win here. This is it, the semi-finals! No one wants to lose having come this far. Aerodactyl? Are we gonna be faster? Uh, they might have T-Bolt though. I mean, I don't know, like, they might not, but I was just assuming they have T-Bolt. So I already brought a slow bro. So if they have T-Bolt, I need something that I can kill. Let's see if we're faster. Takedown. Ooh. We have to hit this thunder. We have to switch to slow, bro. Let's go. Easy kill. All right. It's gonna be another yellow thunder. What's he gonna use? Fire blast. I I'm actually gonna switch to slow, bro. Each other down. Let's hope I predict this right. Fire spin. That would be trouble. 
Fire Blast. We should be able to tank this, right? What now? No crit, no burn. Go ahead, you surf. Ooh, fire spin. Yeah, he does have fire spin. That's right, Gen 1 Moltres can't get flamethrower, yeah. Fire spin's a real problem. It shuts us down. I can switch to Nito and go for Rock Slide. I think I'm gonna do that. It's a free switch. It's probably gonna fire blast me. Can you quick attack if you're wrapped? Dude, that's actually so good. Let's see if he switches back. I'm gonna use Earthquake. Is he gonna switch back? Psychic? Uh, I think we'll live, actually. It's just a Haunter. If it doesn't crit... Special drop, but didn't crit. A special drop means we're alive, actually. Wow, I can't believe we didn't kill. He's gonna use Psychic, right? Do I want to switch in? No, um, do I want to... What do I want to do here? Do I want to keep Nito alive? We're gonna die to a Fire Blast. We're gonna die to a Fire Blast anyway. We're gonna die to a Fire Blast anyway, right? So, like... I can switch to Slowbro, but I don't know if Nito's gonna be viable, is the problem. The thing with Slowbro is, we might need health for Fire Spin. I'm not going for continues here. We ain't going for continues. What's the matter, trainer? Hmm. We're gonna have to hit a thunder. It's the only way I can see killing that Moltres. I don't see any other way of killing it. It's a shame we didn't kill. We're gonna just go ahead and die here. I have to thunder this haunter. I mean, I could pin missile. That's more. That's more accurate, right? What will the next Pokemon be? No, I can send it slow, bro. Actually, and we can just go ahead and surf. No, I'd rather send it slow, bro, because we want to keep Jolteon for the Moltres. Oh, he has Thunder. Okay, I have to write this down. See, I, I don't know their move sets because I don't like I don't have it pulled up, so I'm just learning as I play. Well, we have to hit basically two thunders to win here, and we might even lose if we if we hit the thunder on Moltres. We might not even kill. Well, actually, I'm, I'm doing pin missile here because it's more accurate. 85. Okay, that'll kill. So we're going to need a Critical Thunder or Paralysis. That's the only way we're going to live. Let's go! Burn Boy got nothing on me! Dude, YOLO Thunder, man. I swear it's 95% accurate. Alright, we got two continues, so we got three chances at the final fight. This guy wrecked me last time. Absolutely wrecked me. It was the Lapras. And his Gengar self-destructed, by the way. His, his Gengar blew up on me. <laughs> I don't, do I have anyone who could tank that? Do I have anyone that can tank that? Maybe Slowbro. I think Slowbro's the only one. So does this guy have it? Oh, he has a Dragonite. That's rough. It means I have to bring Articuno in. Articuno's good for the Dug Trio, at least. Probably better off just letting the Gengar kill, honestly. Amasar's Rock type. That's true. And he's good for Lapras. He's good for. Or he's good for. He's good for Charizard. He's good for Dug Trio. He could Toxic the Lapras, so 
I think that's good. So yeah, I think we'll bring Amistar. And I need to bring Jolteon because I was... I was, uh... Yeah, so I need something for the Lapras. So I need to bring Jolteon. Good for Lapras and Charizard. And I need to bring Articuno. So that's what I need to bring. I need to bring Amistar, Jolteon, Articuno. Can't bring Egg. Mm, Needle wouldn't be good anyway. Because the Gengar is just going to blow up, so. This actually does leave me really weak to Electrode if Electrode doesn't blow up. Um, I don't know if I don't know if there's something else I can do. Like, I kind of need Nito for the Electrode if he sends it in. But it might just blow up, in which case it's not as big of a deal. But I kind of want Amistar. So Amistar covers Doug Trio, he covers Charizard. And he can tank well. He can tank Gengar, self-destruct, he can tank uh, some other self-destructs. Rock Slide is solid for Charizard. Yeah. It's, it would be good to have the switch in. I, I think I don't have a choice. Like, I think I have to bring Nidoqueen, even though I don't want to. Well, he's, he's not solid for Lapras, though, because Lapras is a uh, water type. And we're ground type. He'd out damage us for sure. I'm gonna have Toxic, though. It comes in handy sometimes. I think we should start with Amistar. No, I think we should start with Jolteon. And I think we should bring Nito because we have to. But then the problem is I now need to bring Articuno for Ice Beam. I need to bring Articuno for Ice Beam. Because I, I can't kill the Dragonite otherwise. Does that leave any vulnerabilities on my team? We have Lapras covered. We have Charizard covered, we have Electro covered, we <laughs> have Gengar covered unless he's a Psychic. Uh, we have Doug Trio covered, yeah I think I think that's the team I have to bring, I think it has to be Nito, Jolteon, Articuno, I, I'm not happy with the team but... This is it, the final battle! Who will back the glory of the championship? Okay, he started with Lapras again. Alright, Yellow Thunder. Let's do it, Jolty. Hit those thunders. Show us why you're on the team. Show us what you've been doing all game. Oh, yeah. Uh, being a tease right there. Jolteon being a tease as usual. You're gonna you're gonna critical this thunder, right, Jolteon? Oh! <laughs> No paralysis, no crit. Okay, alright, alright, Jolteon. You, we, we need to get a critical now. Or we lose. <laughs> no! YOLO Thunder, no good. Dude, we just, we just lost. All right, well, I can't do anything with Articuno, so I guess I can just Earthquake it and hope for the best. Maybe we might be able to survive one Surf, I, I don't know, honestly. But I don't, can Articuno really kill the last two pokes? No, it's faster, we're dead. I'm critical. Wow, that was the worst match you've ever seen. This happened last time too, I got walled by this Lapras, except this time I brought the right type. Sky attack crit. Dude, it's all about that mist. Dude, this thing's faster than us, that's crazy. I have to set up. I need a leech seed right now. What now? A decent hit. It's concentrating on its data. 
All right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sky attack crit. It's somehow going to kill, even though it's not gonna kill. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna freeze the next two Pokemon. So if Dragonite comes out, we'll one hit it, right? Dude, Criticuno can't even do it. We would need two crits. That was so bad. Wow. That was so bad. That was so bad. Three Thunder misses. The odds of three Thunder misses aren't even that bad, but let me calculate it. Because we used all of our good good luck up earlier. I mean, it's, it's a 2.7% chance of three misses in a row. That's, that's kind of low. Like, we should have at least got the third one, but we'd probably still lose. Alright, here's the thing, like, if I don't bring in Nito, what do I do against the Electro? Like, how do I how do I kill it? Because Jolteon's gonna die off the bat. Like, I'd have to freeze it or something. So, like, I think we have to bring this team, but I just have to hit Thunders. And I have to hit two of them at least. And sir with Gengar this time. I just keep Jolteon alive. I don't know if he's going to blow up on us. He might. I'm going to switch to Nido Queen, see what it does. Hopefully, it just blows up. Oh, he's using Psychic, dude. Oh, we're going to lose again. That's so bad. I need him to start with Lapras. This the problem is his team is so good that we have to get lucky with the pokies he picks. And we very well may have gotten lucky last round. Problem was we missed three thunders. It just doomed us. We need to hit two though, and like Jolteon needs to stay alive for us to have a fighting chance. We only have one more chance. It's gonna use Psychic. I have to Yolo Thunder here. He used up his crit? Okay. <laughs> I have to hope he doesn't blow up too. Oh, he's faster. That's crazy. That's crazy that he's faster. I need, like, critical and paralysis here. Dude, another thunder miss. We had all the thunder misses earlier. Like, if he just wanted to win the game, he could just blow up Gengar. No luck. No luck in the finals. Well, Needle Queen apparently isn't good against Gengar. It's only good against the Electrode. Should have actually... Yeah, it doesn't actually matter. We're slower anyway. Alright, Criticuno. You gotta freeze him now. Let's see that freeze. Articuno tanks it well. I think we have to switch to Articuno, and then we just have to hope for a freeze. I don't think there's any other way we can win if he starts with Gengar. He either needs to freeze or blow up. But we're actually doing pretty good damage to him. I could have missed it, but I was hoping for a freeze before I missed. Times three freeze. We could do it. Alright, now that all of our bad luck is used up. 
We got one more try. That's what happened last time we were in the Prime Cup Final, too. Like, we did fine up to the final. It's it's fine if he starts with Lapras, but we, we can't miss Thunder like that. Same seeds, use Criticuno. Yeah, maybe I should start with Criticuno. The thing is, I need to keep Criticuno alive because I need to be able to... I need to be able to kill the Dragonite, and if Criticuno dies, I can't kill the Dragonite. That's why I don't want to start with Articuno. And we can't actually beat the Lapras. Like, I, think I, I think I need to start with Jolteon. You know, Exeggutor might be able to beat the Electrode. But Executor is weak to the rest of the team. It'd be good for the Gengar, though. So I, I think I should bring an Eggy. So Eggy for Gengar and and for uh, little Electrode. I think that's better. And then bring Criticuno for the Dragonite, and just hope we get lucky. This is it, the final battle. Who will bask in the glory of what do we got? Okay, that's better. Question is, can we hit? Gotta make look my team here, Jolty, Eggy, Artie. Alright, we need the coin flips and we need them bad. Alright, coin flip one. Let's go! Taken down on the word go. This is a wild one from the word go. Oh, it's a Metroid. The remaining Pokemon count right. is three to two. Is this thing gonna blow up? This battle is still up in the air. So we're gonna switch to Aggie because if it blows up, I'd rather have Jolteon. Um, depends. If he doesn't have the Dragonite, then I don't really... I'd rather have, uh, Aegy. Let's see what he does. He's using Reflect? Okay. And we're just gonna Psychic. And if he doesn't blow up, we're gonna out-damage him, so... Thunder Wave? Yeah, he's Thunder Waving. Okay, we didn't lose the coin flip. Mmm, we need a critical or a special drop here. Or we're gonna be too weak to fight the Gengar. T-Bolt, let's check the damage. Okay, damage is really bad. Yeah, I hope we crit here. Crit special drop so he doesn't blow up on us. He's gonna explode. Oh man. We might actually survive it if he blows up. I think we would. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about explosion. Self-destruct, I think. Oh, we do survive the explosion. Okay. Well, who's he have left? If it's Dragonite, I think I can win. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Okay. The remaining Pokemon count is. So we're gonna let him kill us here. The battle has become one-sided. Fire Blast. Okay, you know what that means, right? That means we have to bring in Jolteon first, and we have to hope for a Paralysis. He can one-hit kill Articuno if he gets a crit. Now, Jolteon's Sand Attack? That's not a bad idea. I think I'll do one Sand Attack, and then I'll Thunder. No, I hit Quick Attack. I'm sorry. I apologize, Sand Attack in the Poke Cup is on the left side, it's not on the bottom, okay? He's using Hyper Beam, if it kills, we win. We didn't kill- no, I wanted him to kill! Dude, I wanted him to kill. Worse with Jinx, every cup its moves are in different slots. I don't know why they do that, I wish they would let me change them around. 
Dude, if he killed with that Hyper Beam, we'd have a guaranteed win right now. I assume we could one-hit kill it. Let's go for the Thunder. If we paralyze, we win. Okay, well, we can definitely kill now. It's just a matter of whether or not he kills us with Fire Blast, whether he gets a crit. And we do have one Sand Attack up. Which I think was I think was a good a good strategy. So we're not home free by no, by no means are we home home free. Ice beam kills at full HP. Okay. Thunder wave. Um, if we're not paralyzed, we win. Twenty five percent. Uh oh. Okay, if we're not paralyzed. Okay, I think we won. That's that's Ultra Ball, Poke Cup, Prime Cup, round two, all in one day. Let's go, guys. Easy game, that's right. Let's see that floomph. Video game made for children, that's right. Beautiful. Look at those badges. Fight the Elite Four now. That's a beautiful flume.